Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. Just before 12 noon in Honolulu, 6 o'clock in New York. It is Wednesday, 18th day of September, 2019. And this is uh, the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. The FOMC meeting concluded today where Fed members voted and enacted a rate cut of a quarter percent, 25 basis points. This was widely anticipated and I believe for the most part factored into current pricing in the financial markets. However, when Powell had his press conference, some of the statements that he made alluded to the perception that the Fed really wasn't going to do a lot of rate cutting in the future and it was much less dovish than many had hoped for or what was anticipated. That brought actually equities back up higher and took the precious metals lower. Let's take a look at our current pricing as well as our technical studies. While it was widely anticipated and actually factored into current pricing that the Federal Reserve would announce a rate cut of 25 basis points, a quarter percent today, it was the press conference immediately following the release of the statement that sent the precious metals markets lower. In fact, as you'll see when we look at some short-term charts, gold was trading at around 15.10, 15.11 before Powell's press conference. And once he spoke, the market actually dipped below $1,500 for a brief time before recovering. And as you can see, this is the afternoon session, 15.01. That is the current price for gold basis December futures. Silver also traded dramatically lower today, down about 11 cents, 17.81. And it was dollar strength that definitely provided some headwinds to any kind of firmness in either gold or silver. Let's take a look at our current technical studies. To give you an idea of how market participants and analysts reacted to the statement, the announcement of a 25 basis point rate cut and the following press conference given by Chairman Powell, we simply need to look at a very short term chart. This is a five minute chart of gold futures. What we can see is a fairly stable and supportive market coming into the conclusion of the meeting. What we are looking at, of course, is in Hawaiian Standard Time and two o'clock is the release of the statement in New York and that would correspond to eight o'clock here. We had the market really trading at about 1515, 1516. When the statement came out, initially the market dropped, but it still dropped to approximately 1504 to about 1508, these highs and lows. And then of course the press conference came with Jerome Powell and the ambiguity as to the further path of the Federal Reserve when it comes to more rate cuts, any kind of a dot plot, any indication of how many, how deep that they might go was left alone. It wasn't talked about and I believe was the reason that we had this major decline occur when Powell began to speak and we can see that right here because we've got the market trading at roughly call it 1510 in this area and it actually drops to 1490 1491 before recovering slightly and then closing at approximately 1502 to 1500 we can see that steady set right here so we had a lot of action this morning and i believe that the statements were fine but the press conference with Jerome Powell left many analysts and market participants wanting more detailed information. We are looking at a daily chart of gold futures this of course in candlestick format and what becomes quite apparent and clear is even though the low that came in today roughly at 1490 was lower than the recent lows which came in at 1492 our level of support that we have indicated by this band right here, meaning 1487, 1488, up to the top of this, which is just above 1500, is support and at least at this moment, it is still holding. At the same time, when we look at resistance, that hasn't even been challenged for the last couple of weeks and that comes in just above 1580. Although we alluded to all of the 
potential geopolitical hotspots, economic problems. He talked about how the U.S. economy is basically solvent and it's running well. However, at the same time, we have to recognize that an American economy is not in a tunnel by itself. We have a global financial market and the rest of the world is slowing immensely. One, two, the trade war between the United States and China have definitely put a lot of pressure on economic growth globally. Lastly, with what had happened over the weekend with the attack by Iranian-backed rebels into Saudi Arabia, that could really balloon into something more than a skirmish. I hope that's not the case, but that is the reality of the situation. So based upon those facts, the fundamental events that might unfold in the next couple of weeks will most definitely influence where gold is going to. And I still believe that there is a distinct and reasonable probability, 70%, I would say, that we're going to see this kind of an ABC correction with the market coming down, testing these lows, going into some sort of B wave anywhere between, call it 1537 and 1559, and then concluding with one final leg down, and that should take the market to this really strong level of support, which is the 38% retracement, at 1447 to 1449. This has been Gary Wagner, wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.